On Tuesday, we watched an ABC investigation into Australia's addiction to pokey machines. ha -ching! The pokies. In just over 50 years, they've gone from being illegal to being everywhere. Over 200,000 machines are spread through our cities, suburbs and country towns. That's, that's, that's my boss. Is that? Yeah, yeah, that's Anthony. I mean, my workplace is the local club. It's a community-based club. Dad, maybe you're going to be on this. Sometimes I just want to... No, I don't think so. <laughs> we keep playing and we keep losing. $12 billion a year. What? $12 billion. They keep doing it and they keep losing. So wouldn't, you know, one day you'd say, well, you know, maybe this is a mugs game? Well, why do people keep on smoking and stuff when they know it's killing them? There's around 200,000 Australians who struggle with these machines. They're the backbone of the pokey industry, providing 60% of its profits. My friend at school, her mum used to gamble their shopping money, put it in the pokies. We'd give them out lunch mm. at school because they didn't have any. You know how many houses I've sold because they've had to sell them because of their addictions? No one tells any of the patrons to come in. We don't force them. Yeah. They come on their own free will. Among the victims of pokey machine addiction is Sharon Hollenby. You look in your purse and the panic sets in. The house payment was overdue and there was no food for the boys. I remember driving down the road with the sole intention of just killing myself. Oh. But I found myself holding up a store. Oh, my golly. I used a knife, and before I knew it, the police were there. Wow, that shows the power of the addiction, doesn't mm. it? To drive a woman like that to attack someone with a knife. Yeah. It's an addiction like anything. Food, drugs, alcohol. You can't put the blame that the poker machine's the problem. It's not the poker machine. It's the people making the right choice. Like, the argument for pokies is, oh, you know, people are choosing to be there. But the truth is, we're not rational, sensible humans. We're big sacks of meat that do stupid things and are heavily influenced by stuff. So what is it that keeps people playing? Is it us or the machine? Do you think people get addicted to that sound? You know, the... all that music? They compose music for poker machines. They're just designed to keep things flowing. So there'll be a bit of a gallop to the sound of the reels going. Um, there's a certain timing to the reel spin and how much they bounce. The winning sounds. Everything's in major key. So happy sounding. They feel good about what they've done um, and they keep plugging away. They took you into I don't believing. Think they that you can win that jackpot. No one tricks you. Every machine is listed century, one in a million chance. We should sue the people that make those machines. Why? They don't hold your arm behind your back. And yeah, but, they, but they're, in, in, they're enticing you. It's like if I say to you, Faye, do you want this piece of ham or this chicken? Come on, Faye. La, 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 la. My name is Mike Shackelford, but I'm more commonly known as the Wizard of Odds. The big slot machine companies have big math departments. The mathematician rewards the player enough to keep them playing while making sure the machine comes out ahead. Slot machines are set to only return about 90% of your money. So ev with every bet you make, you're giving 10% to the house, which, which is a lot. And in Australia, they're all pretty much set to a, between 85 and 92%. And that's just awful. The worst part was that he confirmed that we are getting ripped off. Sometimes I just want to reach out to slot machine players and say, wake up, why are you playing this thing? It's stealing your money. Such a science behind it. These machines never lose. They take in so much more than they give out. But governments are the biggest addicts of all, relying on pokey taxes for 5 to 8% of their state-raised revenue. Isn't that disgusting? Yep. It's obviously quite the catch-22 for the government. If the government didn't have this funding, though, wouldn't they have to put up your taxes to get money so anyway they rip off all of Australia instead of just that tiny bit of Australia? Government and industry run a joint policy which takes focus off the machine and say it's up to the individual to gamble responsibly. You don't want us to gamble responsibly. 
Yeah. The government brings the machines, knowing mm. that people are going to get addicted, mm. and then they set up Gamblers Anonymous organisations. Why bring them in in the first place? I don't completely blame the individuals, but because it's like, you know, they're being openly manipulated. And the government's allowing it because it's raking in the taxes. They've destroyed my life and um, I just really want it back, you know. How sad. When you think about, you know, children that don't have enough to eat and marriages being destroyed and stuff, it's terrible.